Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and I'm so excited to be making this video. I literally started my stream this morning, looked over at Twitter, and what did I see but a release date for Armored Core 6 and a gameplay trailer of it. From, you have answered my questions, you have given me what I needed, and now I'm gonna watch it for the first time. I actually decided I was it was too early in the morning, I wanted to be more awake when I watched it, and I'm awake now. Three minutes of Armored Core 6. Now, I am a huge Armored Core fan. Granted, it's probably been over 10 years since the last time I played one. Granted, it's been about 10 years since the last one they really released. Eh, There's a few things in there, but I'm suspecting I'm going to be missing some of the old elements, things from, you know, Armored Core 2, 3, 4, 5, even one. I don't know. I guess I don't know what to expect, but if I miss something and I don't react to it, I apologize, but I will. I'm just ready to be excited because this is one of my favorite franchises of all time, and I've been waiting years for them to release something for it. So without further ado, let's watch the trailer for Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. <sighs> Hopefully the volume's okay, because I didn't want to test it beforehand. I just have everything cranked up. I'd rather you hear the trailer over me anyway. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Okay. Starting with a cinematic. Verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Is that? I guess I need to see if a core comes out of it. Okay, some environments. These are in-game graphics. Okay. I really like it. Dark and gritty, post-apocalyptic. Lots of technology. It's what I expected. It's what I wanted. Feels very... It is. I was going to say, is that an orbital... Uh, what are they called? Orbital something. I can't remember. C4621 has awakened. Interesting. I guess that's their raven. Oh my god. Wait, that's... um Spirit? Spirit of Mother? Was it? I think that was Spirit of Mother, Will. I, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked. Spirit of Motherwell needs to be in this. Oh, it looks so crisp and clean. And I'm seeing all the things that I've been missing for so long. <laughs> oh, it looks like an environment scan. Oh, they had a, gotta love, gotta love it. Oh my God. It actually looks, it doesn't look a lot like four or five. Um, well, actually it looks a little bit, it looks way crisper and cleaner, a lot less motion blur at the very least for the time being. It reminds me a lot of like, Something closer to an updated 4 than an updated 5. Somewhere between 3 and 4 is, like, the feeling I'm getting from seeing the controls and seeing the the way the action's playing out. Some new weapon types, it looks like. Some bosses, of course. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh, man. I don't think people are ready for the kind of game this is, in all honesty. Armored Core is... One of the infamous <laughs> Oh, I'm ready. Call sign Raven. There you go, Raven. There are the Ravens are back. We're going through some boss previews here. Yeah, this is a lot. This reminds me a lot of four, which is good because I love four and four answer. That reminds me of uh, Dante's weapon in um, Devil May Cry Four. Wow, they're going really all out. These look like way more impressive bosses than they've had in other like these are boss bot you know i'll say it in a second but still that's i know exactly what those bosses make me think armored core 6 august 25th baby <laughs> Woo! oh man and that's I, for me that's such a good time like there are other things coming out in august um i know Baldur's gate is one that a lot of people are looking forward to in that time um, I'm not getting any of this. I, I kind of want the special editions, but honestly, I can't think about spending the money at the moment. So they talked a lot about learning from their experiences with the with development of things like the Soul series and Elden Ring, like how that was going to impact. And some people thought that Armored Core was going to be a lot more like Elden Ring because of that more open world, less mission focused. They, they've been very clear in interviews that it is going to be mission based. It's going to be like an Armored Core game. They dispelled the notions it will be like a Souls game. But there's a reason why a lot of us old hardcore fans do call it Armored Souls at times because it has that distinct from software 
difficulty design, that skill-based expression. The big difference with Armored Core, of course, being the uh, knowledge and information and the min-maxing and stuff that you can do. The joke was always 30 minutes in the garage, three minutes in the mission. But honestly, it's not always true. That's what it's like when you're really experienced, when you're not. You end up spending a lot of time working through these missions and improving and finding secrets and getting through all the stuff. But the bosses in Armored Core have always been very hit or miss. It's usually some giant robot that just fires a ton of missiles and maybe some lasers. And maybe you have like a kill order of things you need to do, especially looking at you, Armored Core 3. Um, or it's these like massive fortresses that you need to kind of pick apart piece by piece and they all have like different cannons built and different units. Or sometimes it's 1v1s against other cores and other pilots. Um, this is looking like the big thing they learned was to make more engaging bosses. Because if we play through this section again, I should have checked what the audio was like. Yeah, you can see like there's a 2v1 fight against cores there. I'm I'm assuming there will be online PvP as well. I don't know if they've said that, if one of the interviews has answered that. But there's still what looks to be a mix of those things. But the bosses they showed off here in the section are way more. This boss is, looks like a little more traditional. That like looks like something that's more traditional armored core, but you can see here's the, the Raven fights and everything going through. But then you can see like the AOEs and the attack patterns and everything look way more Souls-like in my opinion with some of these things. Attacks like that, attacks like this, this boss, this design, these feel like the things that they kind of took inspiration from. This thing in particular feels like I look like I'm looking at an armored Souls boss. Like that's, that's the feeling I get from that particular thing. So if they can, honestly, with how much I love Armored Core, there are a few very notable boss fights. When they did Armored Core bosses, they always did them really, really well. They have learned so much about boss design in the time since then and the number of different elements with the cores and the things you can accomplish with them and the advantages and disadvantages you can have are gonna be so much more at play if the bosses are more involved like that. So, oh my God, I, could, I didn't think this week could get any more exciting. I, I just got back from London and I was welcomed back first day, first full day back in the States. And this is what I woke up to at seven in the morning. Go live, bam, Armored Core 6. I'm so glad I waited to watch it till I was more awake because I have so many more things I could say about this. But now all I'm thinking of is, I got to find a reasonable way to replay some of the old ones before this comes out. Because August, that's Armored. It's Armored Core August. I want to hear everyone say it. Armored Core August. Whew. And with that, I'm spent. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> so let me know what you thought about the trailer for Armored Core 6. If you're new to the franchise, let me know what your first impressions were. And if you're an Armored Core head like I am looking through your old Tips and Tricks magazine to see what cores they had for Armored Core 3, let me know what your first impressions were of the strict gameplay related things we got to see today and things you might be hoping to see for stuff like the garage and the customizable parts of the individual cores themselves. With that, Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned because I would love to do some more stuff on Armored Core 6. With that, I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take care.